Has this ever happened to you? You're looking online, trying to find a female voice changer. You find a video titled, Best Female Voice 2022, or Epic Prank, Trick Your Friends on Discord into Thinking You're a Girl, or something along those lines. You click on the video, and it's like 10 minutes of um, them talking about their sound design experience, um, the program that they use, maybe going over some of the user interface. Nothing like egregious or like uh, terrible. It sounds informative. It, it seems good and everything. And then they get down to the end of the video and they're like, now to demonstrate this voice, here I go. This is the voice that I made. It's a perfect girl voice with absolutely no flaws. It is not a chipmunk voice. I have no idea why you would even suggest such a thing. Yeah. That has been my life for the last month and a half. Um, I have watched so many of these over the last month that I actually think I know less about sound design than I did when I started. Yet somehow, through sheer incompetent luck, I have managed to come up with some settings that do work. So let me demonstrate this at the start of the video. So this is what I came up with, which does not sound great, but that's a personal problem that I will cover in just a few minutes. These settings may sound a lot smoother for you than they do for me. So let me go ahead and show you these settings. No, I do not need it to echo. <laughs> All right, so what you see here is that I have the pitch modified two different times. And I think this is the trick that has been eluding people. Um, for so long. It's kind of unintuitive and redundant to do this. So I think people who are more skilled than me would never even consider doing it. But, you know, me being incompetent and me being me, I just started tinkering with every setting until I found something. So you start with power pitch and you go into around the 60 range. And this will depend on what your natural voice sounds like because the final effect will be based on your own voice. So if your voice sounds different from mine, you're going to need a different pitch modifier. Um, then you apply the regular pitch and you put that around the 75 range. Again, higher or lower depending on what your voice sounds like in order to get that realistic tone. And then you do humanize to um, kind of finish off the effect. Without hum humanize, it sounds more like this which is not very realistic. So you do humanize. Now, if you've been wondering about this glitchy sound in my voice and have been a bit skeptical as a result, I'm going to cover my own problem now. So as far as I can tell from my obsessive researching into this, I have come to the conclusion that I damaged my vocal cords when I was younger. And so let me turn the voice changer off. My voice has a little bit of a gravel to it. Um, it's not super noticeable when I speak normally, but if I slow down my speaking any, or if I lower my tone of voice, you can really hear the gravel showing up. 
Um, and this gravel seems to freak out voice mod and it leads to the glitching that you were hearing. Let me turn that back on again. So when I speak slowly like this to have more gravel, you can tell that it becomes way more glitchy. And likewise, if I try on purpose to smooth my voice out, the glitchiness goes away a little bit, but I can't quite get rid of it. And so that's kind of where I personally am stuck. But if you don't have a gravelly voice, these settings should work for you. Um, so hopefully you found that helpful. And now we come to the part of the video where I talk about myself, because I didn't want to put that at the start of the video like a lot of people do. So I'm a VTuber, and my sort of thing is that I get transformed by the chat at basically any time. So I kind of need to have a voice changer change my voice for me so that I don't have to constantly focus on what voice I'm doing. Um, I do both game dev streams and game play streams, usually playing other games than my own because uh, I'm pretty sure my own games would get me banned on Twitch if I tried playing them. <laughs> But yeah, um, I try to be fairly entertaining. Um, I mean, being both a streamer and game designer, you might guess that uh, entertaining people is something that I personally quite enjoy. So, you know, maybe come hang out, talk about my projects, talk about whatever you have on your mind. Uh, we can just have fun together, you know? Uh, I'll have a link to that in my description, and yeah. Anyways, I hope you did find uh, this information helpful, and if you did, leave a comment, because that helps with the YouTube thing. I'm not even partnered with YouTube because, you know, um, not nearly enough views, but uh, yeah. See you next time.